Hey, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and I want to print fast on my Voron. So let's see what we can do. In one of my last videos, we told who I look at the max volumetric speed. And on my Voron, we calculated it as approximately 20. And then when we took 10% off, it got us down to about 18.36. So that's one of the limiting factors on my printer. Now it turns out that there's a different hot end I could put on, which should up my speed dramatically. And that is the X1 or the Bamboo Lab X1 hot end. What's awesome about this hot end it turns out it's really cheap, and it's also one of the fastest hot ends you can get. It's very compact, small, and it turns out there's now an adapter for the Voron Stealth Burner. So with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and change out the hot end on my Voron, which has a clock anyway, with a adapter that I printed out, and we'll go ahead and install it and see how it works. But again, just want to point out that this is a really fast hot end that turns out to be really cheap here. I have it for about $15 on Amazon, and I can get a whole hot end plus a fan for about $10 or $15 on AliExpress. So again, pretty cheap. So let's switch over to my desk and take a look there. So here's my old hot end. This is Sailfish, and it was all right, but I'll be honest, I'm, I have a major jam in it right now. And so there's a real bad clock. So it's a good time to go ahead and switch this out. Now the sailfish cost me, I think, $20 to $30. And this bamboo dupe cost me $15. And this is supposed to be much faster. Now I've gotten several off AliExpress that are even cheaper. And I plan on using these moving forward on several of my printers. Now, there's lots of parts here. Uh, big thing I need is the hot end, the uh, heat block here, and the thermistor. Now, there, there's a couple things I don't like about this. The thermistor sort of sits in this hole here, and it's a pain in the butt to get it situated and it slips out real easy. Now what needs to happen is this piece basically goes on the hot end. Let me figure out which way it goes. And it'll hold the wires in. Yeah, it's gonna go like this. So it's gonna hold the wires in. So let's see if we can sort of set this up. I'm gonna put this over here. Get rid of the trash. So this just goes in there. And it's almost like I need additional hands here for this. Slip over there. And then I want to slip this on. No, I'm saying I want to slip it on. Oops, gotta get it situated right. So that's sort of, I think, the way it needs to go. And then these wires are going to go up basically like that groove. And then let's just take. Silicon and put that over top here. Now, this is a 0.4 nozzle, which is what I plan on using my boron. And this should go something like this. So, this is just going to fit right in here. And that's it. And that's nice and simple. That couldn't be any more simple. Let me get that in straight. 
There we go. So that's nice and simple. That's looking really good. Now, let's see. Let me figure out what needs to be down here PTFE tube wise. So there should be a piece of PTFE tube right here, but I'm not sure how long I need. So let me look and then we'll make a measurement. One step I missed here is I need to put a heated insert right in here. That's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Let me get my get this and see if I can hold this right. So I'm just going to hold this. Let me twist it a little bit so you can see it. Okay, so I sort of have that sitting in place. What I'm going to do is you take my soldering iron and just push the top of this. And I'm going to keep pushing it so it's in. Looks like it's in. So what I'm going to do is just give that a minute to cool. And then what I should be able to do is slip this in and then I'm going right through there to screw the hot end in to hold it steady. Now, honestly, this feels really tight. So I'm not, I'm not really sure I need that screw. But let's just do the safe thing and do the right thing. And we'll screw that in. So let's give it a minute to cool and I'll be right back. Turns out I have another thread of insert on this side, so I'm just going to do the same procedure. I've sort of set the heat of insert in there. And I'm just put the heating with the soldering iron, just pushing down from the top. I'm trying not to mess the plastic up. I need to push the down lush and straight. That's actually looking good. So I have that in there. And like I said, I just need to let this cool a little bit. And I'm letting it cool because that way when I start tightening the tightening the screws, it doesn't start spinning right away. Now I've already put the heated inserts in this side. So I've done that and I just missed it right here and right in here. And that's again to secure the bamboo in there. So let me clean up my workspace and we'll let that cool. So I've let it cool. Now I'm putting the screw in here. Now I have two different size screws I need. I need up top here m3s and then for the face here right here i need uh, m2.5s and i think i need the eights let's grab these two switch out drivers so it doesn't want to go in i'll be honest i sort of messed that one up Let's try this side. Because I tried an M3 there first. So I messed the hole up a little bit on that side. So this hot end's going to be really secure. Now I'm a little bit unsure how these are going to go. Now this, I'm just going to. Does this actually fit down here? I don't know whether it does or not. Let's, let's put it on this side. So let's get this side on. This is going to be the M3-12, I believe. Or is it 16? It's the M3-16, I'm sorry. So let's switch which driver we're using. We'll screw this one in. Well, that felt like a bit too. 
No, it's a little bit more. Yep, that's biting. There we go. And let's do this. Looks a little too high, which it probably is. So I need to look up. Let me see if I can figure out how much PTFE tube I need here. Let's just stick with that for right now. I'm not actually sure I need any PTFE tubing. Feel better with it, isn't it? No? So let's leave that there like that. And let's switch over to the printer. Now that I'm over here, I'm looking at this and I have this little connector here for the hot end, for the thermistor, I mean. And I'm just gonna change out the connector on the uh, bamboo, because I, I honestly, I'm having trouble getting my fingers in there and pulling things apart. And I really don't want to tear up the wiring. So I'm just going to pause for a second, change out the wiring here. So that way I can just connect it and be done. So I have my new connector on, as you can see. And I'm just trying to figure out how this needs to sit. But that needs to go like this. So it needs to sit up here. Like that. And I have enough slack here to plug everything in, so that's good. Let me get my driver so I can actually screw this in. So I'm just gonna hold this up. And it hurts that I can't see very well. There we go. Yeah. So that feels tight. And if I remember correctly, nothing else needs to be screwed in here. Let's plug in everything. I'm going to plug in the thermistor first because that one's a little tighter. That actually felt like it snapped. Okay, we're not going to worry about it. I think it's in appropriately. Now, I definitely need to do some massive wire management here and play with this, but for right now, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Put that on. And I think the longer screws go down the bottom, shorter screws go up the top. And if I remember correctly, I don't want to tighten this too much. Because it would act weird once I start really tightening it. If I didn't say it, I put in 22 millimeters of PTFE tubing. That equated to about what I had for the other hot end. What I'm going to do is jump off camera because I can't reach behind this. Well, let me try it. I'm going to try to reach behind this printer and turn it on. And can I? No, I can't. I can't get to the back. So let me pause for a minute and then I'll be right back. So we're firing it up and let's see what happens. Let's make sure it connects. And while this is going, let me try calling up main sail and that way we can see if we're getting temperature readings. This will all take a minute. Now, the Nomi looks like it's trying to connect. And we're still trying to connect to the printer. It's not fully booted yet.
Now, it looks like we fully connected. So right now, and let me switch over to my display. You'll notice I am getting a temperature reading and I am getting a, I'm getting an extruder reading here. So that's actually looking really good. Now, my next step is I probably need to do a PID tune. So let's go ahead and do that. That way I can make sure everything heats up correctly. So I've entered my command. Let's go ahead and send it. And it is heating up. My fans are on. I don't see any magic smoke. The hot end is heating extremely quickly, which is good. Now, let's do this while we're sitting here. Let's run this filament down. Well, wait a minute. I'm doing this PID tune, so let me not run the filament down. Let me let the PID tune finish, and then I'll load it. But for right now, everything looks good, so let me pause, let the PID tune finish, and then we'll be right back. So the PID tune finished, and that was really, really quick, and I've already saved it. So now what I'm going to do is heat it up to 220 and run some filament through it. So right now, I'm extremely pleased with this. It was easy to install. All I needed was the updated, basically two printed parts, and I was able to install this on my stealth burner. Now, I'll be honest, I'm also working to change several of my other printers. It's just I haven't found the appropriate duct system I want to use one that, that'll actually work right. But with that being said, I'm really pleased with the way this has gone. It looks like this was a pretty easy upgrade. Now, keep in mind, there's some changes I need to make. I'm probably going to need to run my retraction tests again. I'll need to run my fl different flow tests and extruder calibration and all that, since we have a different extruder on here. And of course, I'll have to relevel the bed. But with all that being said, that, that's all easy stuff to do. And I have videos that I'll link up in the video description for you to take a look at for those procedures. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. I appreciate you hanging out with me tonight. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.